Hello everyone. Welcome to watch this video. Today we are going to make a magical generator. If you are interested, please watch it patiently. This video was shot carefully, step by step, so that you can see it clearly. Now you can see a 1500 watt electric motor. After plugging it in, you can see that the motor can run normally. After confirming that there is no problem with the motor, we will now disassemble it completely and use this motor to convert it into a generator. In fact, it is relatively simple to convert an ordinary electric motor into a generator. The main thing is to add magnets to the rotor. The specific method of adding magnets will be seen in a while. Friends who want to modify it by themselves should watch it carefully at this time. After removing the screws that fix the motor casing, we use a hammer to gently tap the center shaft rotor and take it off. After the rotor is removed, the nail coil leaks out. You can see that it is covered with copper wire. Now we continue to disassemble and take out the entire rotor. This rotor is an ordinary iron core and is not magnetic. We first use a brush to brush the surface layer of the rotor. Knock it off and then take a round of rectangular strong magnet. This strong magnet can be purchased online or removed from the scrapped electric vehicle motor. After the magnet is ready, we put it in order on the rotor and then use a pen to draw lines along the position of the magnet. The purpose of drawing lines is to cut the grooves. Now all the lines are drawn. Let's start cutting immediately. Because dust may be generated during cutting, we use tape to wrap the bearings on both sides of the drill to prevent dust from entering the bearings and damaging the bearings. After the bearings are wrapped, we put the rotor on the front of the table and clamp it, and then start cutting along the drawn lines with a mixer. I have told you before that this cutting process is very troublesome, so you must be patient. Because cutting may cause unevenness on the rotor surface, we use cutting and grinding at the same time, so that the cut grooves will be more uniform. After more than an hour of busy work, all the grooves are cut, and then we take the prepared magnets and start installing them. Before installing the magnets, it is best to mark them with a pen. This makes installation much more convenient. When installing, pay attention to the fact that the strengths of the two adjacent magnets are opposite. After the magnets are in place, we take a bottle of super glue and apply the glue on the magnets so that the magnets will not fall off when the rotor rotates. After gluing, we put it aside to dry and wait for the glue to dry. Now we reinstall the rotor into the motor casing. After the casing is installed, this motor is converted into a generator. Now we take a wooden base plate and install the modified generator on the wooden base plate. Then find an electric motor of the same power and install the motor next to the generator so that the two center axes are facing each other. After the position is determined, use screws to fix the motor to the base. Then we find a socket strip and connect the two wires output by the generator to the socket strip. This makes it much more convenient to use electricity. After the socket strip is connected, we find a plastic pipe and install the plastic pipe on the center axis of the two motors. After installation, use a fork to fix it. In this way, the motor can drive the generator to rotate. Now let's take a plug is installed on the motor. After the plug is installed, we plug the plug into the socket strip and then find a rope to wrap the rope around the plastic tube in the middle. After plugging it in, we pull it hard with our hands and the motor and generator will start running. Now let's use a multimeter to test the voltage drop when wiping the table. You can see that the output voltage drop of wiping the table is basically around 200 points. Now let's take the generator outdoors. First, plug a light bulb into the socket strip and then wrap the rope around the center axis and pull it gently. The motor will start running. Not only does the electric scale run, but the light bulb is also lit. Now we take an electric drill and plug it into the socket strip. The electric drill can also run normally. Now the electricity needed for the light bulb and flashlight is provided by the generator, and the generator can also power the motor at the same time. In this way, this basic set can run by itself without an external power supply. Do you think this power generation equipment is particularly magical? Interested friends can make one by themselves to see if they can generate electricity. Well, this is the end of this video. See you next time.